yep, it's recording. <laughs> All right, hey guys, as you should know, uh, I am in Alabama. Uh, it stopped <laughs> raining briefly. I was afraid, I wanted to take you guys on an adventure in my grandparents' backyard because there's cool stuff back here and I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to because it was raining. It stopped briefly, but I have an umbrella over there just in case it starts again and I would like my camera not to be ruined. Um, <laughs> I really don't have a lot to talk about and uh whoa rain okay <laughs> um I wanted to show you guys to look, look at these oh I'm gonna oh I'm gonna die okay these oh it's squishy <laughs> these cars my grandfather used to collect really old cars in hopes that he would eventually be able to restore them and resell them to people and it it never really worked out for one reason or another so he has all of these really cool old Ford cars that uh, I love to, I love coming here I love taking photos of them while I'm here they just look awesome if maybe a little creepy but oh there's so much water right here okay <laughs> it was this is the only day it's rained so far of course and eh, on the day I have to make a video and I wanted it to be interesting I'm gonna go on an adventure because because I mean Look at there's cool. I I don't know how much you can see around me. I'm gonna I've got you on a monopod because that's fun <laughs> But it's just really cool stuff. Okay, I really don't have much interesting to talk about but um, And I won't be able to edit this so I wanted it to at least be interesting while I was moving um What was I gonna talk about? Okay, so ah! <laughs> I'm not that afraid of water. I don't know what's wrong with me. So computer I had a fun fun adventure with my computer um and I'm going to oh my god is it raining again I don't know <laughs> okay um I think it's just falling from the trees we're gonna we're gonna have fun this is gonna be a long ridiculous video of me running away from water um okay so I don't have the ability to edit right now and because of that I'm going to weave you a tale weave you a tale of fate and just an angel. Um, I don't know if anyone follows my Twitter, but Wednesday, the day I arrived here, my computer screen went completely rainbowy. Just decided to come out of the closet, uh, <laughs> so I could barely, I could barely work with it, and I was like, I'm not. Oh, uh, I didn't know what was going wrong, going on, because I hadn't, it, it hadn't been near any magnets. I had taken it through an airport, but I've done that several times over the years that I've owned the computer. It's a really old computer in general. It's one of the first MacBook Pros, so I've been meaning to replace it for like over a year now and I just haven't been able to. So it goes rainbowy and my grandma decides that she's gonna call her computer guy to see if he could help us and figure, us, figure it out. And she couldn't get a hold of him. He wasn't calling back. So we started looking people up and called and left a message at a bunch of places and only one guy called us back out of all of those people and it was a guy called Dr. Computer. <laughs> so we went to see him and it's just this guy, he has 28 years of experience, he works out of his home, super friendly, he was so nice. But just like I had figured, the only thing that could have been wrong with it, it was the video card in my computer, which I don't know how much you guys know about computers. I don't know a whole lot, but I do know what a video card is. And it's basically everything, or controls everything visual on your computer. So that was going out and it was only gonna get worse. So pretty devastating news at that point. Uh, <laughs> Cause I, I don't have the ability to get a new computer. So he, uh, <laughs> so he tells me that and it's, I would have to replace the whole logic board that's under in the base of the computer. But, and I was like, I really, I really don't want to have to put a whole lot of money into a computer. I really need to replace anyway. And uh, he looks at me and he was like, well, I, I was like, I'm a film student. I, I need, I need this computer to edit. I need Final Cut. I do film projects. I, I just do film projects in general. I didn't mention the YouTube channel or anything. I didn't, I, I don't know. But, uh, and he was like, well, how long in school do you have left? And I was like, I, I just graduated last semester. So I, I re I'm in the real world. I need it to do real things now. And, uh, 
and he he goes hold on a second and he goes to the back of his house and comes back out with what i know is one of the newer macbook pros like brand new i didn't know how new and he puts it down in front of me tells me to plug it in and turn it on and he was like will this do what you want it to do and i, I was like well yeah if once i put all my programs and all of my style rain once I put all of my stuff on it, of course it'll do what I wanted it to do, because it's a MacBook, it's even, it's a better one than the one I have now. And, uh, he was like, well, talk to me. So, I'm here with my mom and my grandmother, and my mom's like, D are you saying that you would sell this? Are you looking to sell this? You would be willing to do that? And he was like, well, yeah, but just tell me, just talk to me. And we were like, well, how, how much would you take for it? Because we're thinking we, we only have so much because we're traveling and um, he was like well how much do you have we were like well I have about a hundred in cash and she had about a hundred in cash just for traveling money and we were like we we could get uh, some more from a bank maybe maybe we have like 400 I don't know and he was like no and you know of course he's not gonna sell this like what, $1,500 MacBook Pro for $400? It's not gonna happen. There's a really loud bird. Yay, nature. <laughs> so just immediately, I was like, well, of course, of course not. And he, he's like, I'll take 200. And just my, my heart stopped and I didn't know how to handle that as a reality. And um, sorry, I'm getting emotional already because this man, not only, as long as I, I just left my old MacBook with him so he could sell it for parts, but he gave me this brand new MacBook Pro with the only issue with it is that the battery doesn't hold a charge, which my computer didn't do anyway. The battery doesn't hold a charge, so I'm used to that. Brand new, like $1,500 computer for $200 and just my old computer. He even took out my hard drive and let me keep my hard drive because that's where all of my things were, all of my newer videos and photos that I haven't backed up on my hard drive. And it, I <laughs> just, he gave me my life back, basically. As stupid as that sounds over a computer, I rely on having that computer so much to do so many of the things that I love. It was amazing and just it was a complete moment of fate that even led us to him because my computer just happened to stop working while I was in Alabama. Grandma just happened to not be able to contact her usual computer guy and this guy happened to be the only one that called us back and he had a billion wonderful reviews on the internet and now I know why. So basically the doctor saved me guys <laughs> and I got so much more out of this moment than I could have hoped for. There was no way I was going to be able to get a new computer anytime soon with me still looking for a job out of college and um sorry I've never been emotional with you guys so you're going to deal with this <laughs> if you've even continued.